Yeah. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. To our cue. Uh. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the new now. Me never, 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 never cross over. Me never, 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 never cross over. Uh, basically, man, I came up with the new now because, uh, you know what I'm saying, it's all with the old and with the new, you know what I'm saying. We living in a fast food age, you know what I'm saying. Everybody wants their, their hit single fast, you know what I'm saying. Uh, the attention span of the, of the youth today is very short, you know what I'm saying. So you got to give it to them now. you got to give it to them new and fresh, you know, for them to remember it. So uh, basically, you know what I'm saying, that, that was the concept of the new now, you know, to give them something... You know, the, the times of music has changed, so it's time for the new, you know what I'm saying? Out with the old and in with the new. And uh, right now we're living in a new now age, because everything is new and they want it now, you know what I'm saying? So that's where the new now came from, you know, the new now. Ah, I got a, uh, so far I got a, uh, me of course. Uh, I got Dominic Cooley doing the track. It's fucking ridiculous. I love it. Um, DJ Polaris. Shout out to DJ Polaris. He hooked me up with a banger. Uh, and uh, DJ Eclipse, man. You know, I, I always, I can never do an album without Eclipse production, man. That's just like family. Uh, that's just, that's just something I can't do, man. My albums always feel complete if I don't have a production by DJ Eclipse the mentor right there so uh, shout out to clips that's pretty much it uh, guest features well, when I got Dominic Cooley singing on the track which is amazing if I can get that track he had to send that that's the last piece I'm waiting on to complete this album um I have a guest feature from Rodeo it so and um it's even watched him man even watched him just she really put the icing on the cake of my album man she man that's uh, look at my face that's all I can say album is so tasty it's like it's like biting into your favorite piece of food and and, and it just soaks into you like the, 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 the taste just soaks into you you know what I'm saying so each track is like that but uh I got I got this one called church that uh it stands it's, it's just it just lyrically that's just like one of my favorite tracks you know what I'm saying I don't know man I gotta I like to cro I don't like to give a lot of my personal life in my music but this album I have and um, you know I like to I like to keep a, a little subliminals in my flow you know what I'm saying so you know a lot of people who are close to me will understand you know what some of the stuff means and what some doesn't mean and I get a lot of questions too you know what I'm saying when I'm out like did this really happen to our kid or was this or that you know what I'm saying so uh yeah I had to ask me what certain stuff mean if you don't understand it you know what I'm saying I get a little deep like that and I just like to do that because I don't like to reveal my personal life too much you know what I'm saying there's a lot of nosy people out here so uh, keep it 820 for me keep it 820 so, I don't know what inspirations I did have for the album but uh, a lot of things that inspired me to do this, you know what I'm saying? Just my my influences around people, you know what I'm saying? And people, my friends and family and everything I experienced to this point in my life, you know what I'm saying? Influenced me to make the new now, you know what I'm saying? And and, and once I got started on the new now, it, it, it that inspired me. The music I was making inspired me to take it to somewhere I never took it before, you know? and still keep it hip-hop and, you know, consumer-friendly, you know what I'm saying, for every, 
you know, all my fans, I didn't want them to stray away from me because I was stepping out of the box, but but I'm stepping out of the box, but in the box, you know. Still, I'm still giving the customers what they want, you know what I'm saying. I call it, I call it a organic growth, you know what I'm saying, uh, to my fan base. That's what I call it, the organic growth to my fan base. And uh, increase in revenue and margin by focusing on the needs of my existing customer base, basically. So uh, that's what I'm doing. Don't try to steal that. <laughs> Uh, the goal for the new now is to eventually get picked up by a label. One. Uh, if not that, at least build a, a bigger cult following around the Midwest area. You know what I'm saying? Uh, put Indiana on the map for one. You know what I'm saying? That That's one thing right there. We need to get this on on the map. I mean, there's a lot of people doing it. You know, we got the Rick Jillas, You know what I'm saying? We got... Pretty Gibbs, you know what I'm saying? That's doing it on a on a on a bigger scale, you know what I'm saying? But uh, uh, we need more. We need there's there's too much talent in this not some city but state, you know what I'm saying? Too much talent, you know. We can we can we there is a position for us, you know what I'm saying? We just gotta break through those norms and get there, you know what I'm saying? Slowly we are, you know, we are doing it, but uh, but uh, I want the new now to be a huge impact on the state of Indiana, you know, like uh, in the music game, a huge impact, you know, whether it be underground or if it hits the mainstream, you know what I'm saying? Just, just an impact. I want people to know who 2RQ is at the end of the day, you know, if they don't know me personally, heard of me, you know what I'm saying? Just word of mouth or whatever, you know what I'm saying? I want that, that stamp to be embroidered in people's brain 2RQ, you know, I heard of 2RQ or something like that, you know, just to get out there, you know, and get the, get the city known, Indiana known, you know what I'm saying, so, uh, you know, I hope it, I hope it, I hope it be as successful as its predecessors, Dylan Candy and the, the one of a kind LP, you know what I'm saying, so, uh, we'll see, we'll see, the only time will tell, so we'll, we'll see. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, to our cue. I don't know. A lot of people always ask me why, why "Be Cool" was the first single. You know, I had a lot of singles to choose from, from uh, releasing for releasing as the first joint. But uh, I chose "Be Cool" because uh, I let my daughters hear the album, and uh, you know what I'm saying, and they. Uh, they narrowed it down to three tracks, and uh, I narrowed it down to the same three tracks. And they ended up picking Be Cool as the lead single, and I was just like, dope, because that's what I wanted as the lead single. So I let them decide, and they ended up picking Be Cool. So shout out to my babies. Love you guys. Thanks for picking that single. It's hot. One of the dopest local fucking albums to drop this year in the year 2011, and um, I wanted to go down as a classic, you know. And um, make sure y'all get it. If you don't get it, you're sleeping. You're sleeping on real music. You're sleeping on good music. You're sleeping on hip hop. So uh, make sure y'all cop that, man. I would. I always look outside the box as myself as. I always listen to my music and don't think it's me, you know what I'm saying? But I listen to it like, dang man, this is dope. I will go cop that, you know. Whoever this dude is, he's tight, you know what I'm saying? So I agree. I'm a big music fan. All genres and uh, I think it's sick, man. So uh, make sure y'all cop it. May 2011, the new now will be dropping on iTunes digitally only. Maybe CDs later, but I want to do the new now stuff digitally because we in the digital era. So new now must be digital. Must be digital. <laughs> Ooh, God, oh Lord, time to take him to church.